People reject Islam because it's from the Middle East. People think that Islam is the religion of the Middle East and Christianity is the religion of Europe. Actually, Christianity is from the Middle East too. Jesus was from the Middle East. Even Paul, who said you don't have to follow the laws like Jesus anymore, and who claimed to talk to God, was from Turkey, and claimed to talk to God in Syria. It's not about nationalism. It's not about us versus them. It's about what is the truth. And if you're taking your religion from the Middle East anyway, at least take the correct one. If you consider for one moment, just one second, that there is an Akhirah, yeah? You don't believe in it, but what if you're wrong? If you consider that for one second that you are wrong, is it not better to take uh, precaution, like when you wear your seatbelt? Take precaution, give religion a moment. And I'm not talking about uh, religion of different hotspots beliefs and rituals, I'm talking about Islam. Give the Quran time, read it. If after you read it, you disbelieve in it, then that's up to you. But if you want, if you do read it and something changes your life like it did for me, then it's only going to be for the better. Before Quran, Arabs were ignorant tribes in the desert, worshipping idols, selling idols, selling slaves, drinking wine, starting tribal wars for little to no reason, killing their own babies if they were female, and gambling their money and their own families. A man would bet his wife on a cards game and then lose her when he loses the bet. Also, adultery was everywhere, and women were treated as sex objects. The last thing they cared about was morality or knowledge. It was a materialistic society based on gaining more money and power by any means. And then, Quran ended slavery, racism, discrimination against minorities, and discrimination against women, and gave equal rights and justice to everyone more than 1,000 years before the whole world started even thinking about it. Quran gave meaning to family values and mutual respect and ended adultery. Quran ended tribalism and nationalism and united nearly two-thirds of the world into one big loving community. Quran cleansed the hearts of people from any evil and created a just, safe, happy society. Quran converted illiterate Arabs to be the world leaders in science, medicine, engineering, culture, and economics for nearly a thousand years, while the rest of the world was in its darkest ages. Before Quran, the rich would become richer and the poor would become poorer. But after Quran, there were days when callers would walk in the streets in cities from east to west, looking for someone to take charity, and no one wanted it. Then the callers would look for someone who needs financial help getting married, they couldn't find any. Turns out that if there is no greed, there will be no poverty. For 700 years, the international language of science was Arabic, and Baghdad was the center of the intellectual world. In the Moroccan city of Fez, Fatima al Fihri founded the famous Al Qarawiyin University. Today it is recognized as the oldest existing university in the world. They didn't lose their leadership until they lost their connection with Quran and started turning away from it. And before you ask, there is not a single country in the world right now which follows the teachings of Quran. There is no country on earth right now that represents the teachings of God in the Quran. What you see now is them not following the Quran, not the opposite. Judge the book, don't judge the people. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people around the world, from different countries, different continents, and different languages, accept Quran as their purpose and way of life as soon as they just read it once. See how the number of believers is increasing very, very rapidly recently? People are tired of lies after lies. Whenever they finally find the truth, they hold on it and never let go. What do you expect after you read the words of God who created you? As a Christian that converted to Islam myself, I could tell you that there are so many people out there that don't even know about Islam. People might look at Muslims and think something they've heard, they've seen, whatever. No, forget all that. What I want to tell you right now is what Muslims believe, and that is that God, the creator of everything, Allah, Almighty God, He is only one without any partners, only one. Do not say that he is a trinity. Do not say that he has equals. This is shirk. This is the unforgivable sin. 
Subhanallah. Number two, if you believe in the oneness of Allah and you believe in the prophets that he sent, and that includes Adam, the first human, all the way to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the last and final messenger. And if you believe in the holy books, the revelations Allah sent prophets with, like Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace be upon them all. And Muslims believe in the angels. There are angels with us at all times. And last but not least, Muslims believe in the day of judgment. We believe that after the world has ended, all humans will be resurrected. Allah will raise us all up. And that is when the day of judgment will start. And we will all be judged for how we live this life on earth. Don't try to find an excuse to ignore God's message to you. God created you for a purpose. At least know what is it. Don't worry, it's not like what you heard in the media. See with your own eyes, you have nothing to lose. Quran is the only book that broke the barriers of time and the barriers of knowledge. Quran is the only book that can be called perfect and contains the cure for our social diseases and hatred towards each other and division. 1% of the people now own 99% of Earth's resources, while billions are dying from poverty, hunger, diseases, and wars over man-made borders. This is not the world we want to live in. Quran is the only book that can fix all that. Quran is the only unchanged book written by the most wise, the creator of us, the one who knows what is best for us and what is wrong. Do you still refuse to read it once before you decide for yourself if you believe it or not? He says, well, what do you think about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? And I said, well, uh, he says, do you think he's a prophet? I said, yeah, I do. I said, I think he's a prophet. He had a word also, but I don't believe that was for me. I believe that it was for a different uh, group of people. And uh, he looked at me and he stuck his finger in my face and he says, you're a Muslim, man. And uh, then I, I returned the finger and I said, no. I said, I'm not a Muslim. And my name and that word will never be connected. So uh, that day there was something inside me. It, it was like a, a dot. There was some type of dot that had been put in my heart. So back in the day, I had my old Packard Bell. You know, it was uh, not many people know what a Packard Bell is today. They don't exist. And uh, so I would I would go on there and I would ask Jeeves, which Jeeves was the, the Google of today back then. So I would go and ask Jeeves, uh, just type in Islamic topics. One day I'd come home from work and uh, I was, you know, just, just following my normal routine, come home from work, take off my shoes and everything, get comfortable and sat down at my computer. You know, what is Islam? You know, give the five pillars of Islam. When I read them, for some reason, I. I read La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and I said I believe that and then I read uh, you know make Hajj you know to fast to pay zakat to pray every pillar that I read it was like something had opened I can't explain it it was like if my heart was being painted or a light was opening inside me then once I had finished reading all the five pillars I knew that I couldn't go any other direction that was the only direction that I could go and uh, there was a, a link to, uh, it said how to be Muslim so you, I clicked that link and there was a small PDF that opened up I'm holding this piece of paper and then I fought, I went to the bathroom I took my shahada in a bathroom uh, by myself I went in the bathroom I la ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah if you need help reading the last and final message from our creator to us, we can assign someone who knows Arabic to read it with you and to answer all of your questions for free. Just join our Facebook and Discord and contact us to schedule your daily voice or video call, whatever you wish. Links are in the description and first comment. We will answer all of your questions and if after reading it you're not convinced, then no harm, no foul. You can just go back to believing whatever you want to believe, knowing that you did what you should and you searched for God in every way possible.